Hello and welcome. Today I want to go over a very important issue that's plaguing Animal Crossing. My poor boy Leaf over here has not gotten a shop. And we can see that the Able Sisters got a shop. The Nooklings got a shop. They didn't have to sell in resident services forever. But my poor boy Leaf over here has been left out. Yeah, I know, I know how it feels. I know how it feels. So what we're going to do today is build him a shop in my basement. Oh! So I'm broke then, huh? Okay. Before we get started, I just wanted to say that I was inspired to make this shop by somebody named 32 Ounces on Reddit. They made a great leaf shop, which is what inspired me to make this video. So thank you to them. I wouldn't be able to do this without them. Anyway, we're starting out with the ship deck flooring and the ivy wall. You can get the ivy wall from Sahara and you can get the ship deck flooring from Tom Nook. It creates this green and brown color scheme, which is perfect for leaf shop. So I wanted to make that fake back room that I saw in this post and I'll put the creator code in the description, but basically it's a pattern that repeats. It has half of a handle on top and half of a handle on the bottom. So it combines in the middle to make this full handle and it really makes it look like a door. I think it looks really realistic. There is a noticeable gap between the wall and the simple panels if you go up really close to it. So to remedy this, we're going to cover the wall with some furniture and as well as both sides of the door, we're going to cover it with some furniture to make the gap a little less noticeable. And to do this, we're just going to use an iron lamp and a wooden plank sign. You can craft both of these items, an iron wall lamp, I mean. And we're going to use some of the museum stamp plaques that you can get from the rally events and some bamboo planters. So I wanted to get some nature sounds in my room. To do this, I wanted to put a bird cage down to get some bird sounds because I just love birds. And I think it would be a really cute idea for you, the audience, to name my Animal Crossing bird. So leave your best bird name in the comments and I will pick the most liked name to be the official name of this bird. All right, for the left side, we're gonna use the wedding flower stand. And this has been customized to be the natural theme. You could actually customize most of the wedding decorations. We're going to use a garden wagon in the middle, which is craftable as like a centerpiece because it has a bunch of flowers in it. For the right side of the room, I want it to make it this place where you could buy the flowers. So usually in a flower shop, they have this display section where they display off all of the flowers. That's kind of what I want to do with the right side. And then the left side, I want it to make into this cashier place. So on the right side, we put a log bench down. This is not for sitting. We are going to use it as a table, actually. Uh, I love using log benches as tables because it's kind of just this really low and thin table. And you can put anything on it, any two items you want to. And then we're going to use a bonsai table, which is craftable. You do need a lot to craft this bonsai table, so... And I'm playing with the different heights of the tables, as you can see. The log bench is a lot lower than the bonsai table, which creates this really nice effect and gives it that extra depth that the room needs. And now I want to put this ironwood cupboard down and I, I'm just going to put it against the wall adjacent to the log bench. And it looks pretty nice so far. So this is how we're sectioning it off. We're kind of using the tables as a wall. You could also use simple panels as a wall, but I decided to use tables for this. Now we're going to put a stall down because it wouldn't be a shop without a stall. And the stall is customized to have one of the uh, sable patterns. So I'm putting down this den desk. And the reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to flip it around and you could see that it makes kind of this clean desk instead of having the drawers in front. And it looks like a concierge desk. You know, this is kind of like a clerk's desk if you turn it around like this. We need a lot of tables in this section because we're going to have a lot of table plants you're going to see in a second. Uh, so we're getting a, like a podium, a barrel. A barrel is really nice because it fits the theme really well. And a cocoa plant. And then to section this room even more, we could put carpets down to make it look like it is a totally different area and it's not even part of the same room. But I don't have the color schemed carpets that I want. I would want this dark deck wood flooring, I think it's called. And you can only get that from Sahara, which I don't have. But you could use bamboo and just layer the carpets kind of like that. You can get three carpets over there. And now we're just going to spam a bunch of plants down. So we have a tree's bounty lamp, which is craftable, I think. A succulent plant, craftable. 
And we're going to get a whole bunch more plants. We have a mini cactus set. Those, that's very good to have in this shop. We're going to get some fragrant sticks in here because uh, he likes it smelling nice. We got terrarium for more plants and a book and then some book stands because we, it has to be a nice reading area as well as a nature feeling place. And we're going to get the floating biotype planter. There's a lot of plants in this game. A moss ball and a cherry blossom bonsai. Uh, I think most of these are craftable. Some of them you have to buy from Tom Nook. And we'll just get another terrarium in there as well as a candle and another book. And that's it for now because we have a lot of stuff on the floor that we have to work with. So every table that we have, we're just going to put a plant on. Just have fun with it. You might have some plants in your storage. Just go crazy with it. I'm just going to put the moss ball over here. I'm going to put the lamp on the wooden, I mean the log bench. And then I'm going to put the bonsai tree with probably the book stands on the, the stall. Uh, in the corner, I kind of want the plant to be visible. I have this big plant, the, uh, the botanical plant. So that goes well in the corner because it's more visible and it's not a small plant. And then we're going to put the book on the ironwood furniture and the fragrance sticks because, you know, why not? And just have fun with decorating your surfaces. It, it doesn't matter. You know, if you have some extra items in your storage that you want to get rid of, try putting it in your house and see how it works. And some really good wall items for this build are the broom and dustpan. We want the hanging terrarium. <laughs> Very nice. Just decorate the wall with plants. Uh, I have this tapestry. It's just called tapestry. It's it has a chicken on it. I don't I don't know. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we just want the wall covered with plants. There's this iron wall rack. If you have an iron wall rack recipe, you can make these with just iron and they have a plant on it already pre-built. We're going to get a formal paper in here and we're also going to get a key holder because there's a door next to it. It would only make sense that there's a key to it. So this goes really well. And there's also some other wall items that go well, such as the uh, rack, which is a craftable recipe I don't own, so I couldn't get it. But tool rack would make sense in this kind of build. And we're just going to get some iron lamps down, some more iron lamps, because we need some more lighting in here. Even though it's already kind of tr mimicking natural light, we can just put some lights everywhere and it gives it that extra greenhouse feeling. We're going to use potted ivy as well on the wall because the potted ivy goes really well with all of the other plants and we're just spamming the walls with plants. A lot of people might say this is too cluttered, but in my opinion, if you're doing a plant based build, you can make it as cluttered as you want. You could just spam plants so that there's just leaves everywhere and it, it looks very nice in my opinion it, it makes me happy and plus this is my basement like wh who's gonna even come down here uh we're just gonna get more hanging terrariums on there by the way and now we're gonna go build the cashier side of the room which is the left side i've deemed you could switch up the sides if you want for your build uh, i'm using the ironwood kitchenette as kind of a counter we have a menu sign that is really good for a shop. You could also use a wooden shop sign and customize it to be a custom pattern. So if you have some like leaf patterns that you want, uh, you could use that. We're going to get a bucket in here because water and can is very useful in a plant shop, in my opinion. You can't actually put the water and can on table, sadly. I don't know why. That's kind of a weird quirk with Animal Crossing, but it's just something we have to do. And now we're going to turn this. Uh, we're going to try to turn this to the best of our ability. But there is a plant in the way. Wingardium Leviosa. Wing Wingardium. Nope. It's not. It's not working. All right. We're going to put some plants on top of this table now. And a book. Because this book has butterflies on it. And I feel like it would be really cool. You could even put some. If you have some extra butterflies in your storage. I think butterflies would go really well in this. There's just so many options. I just filled this room up so much that I have no other place to put furniture, basically, if I want walking room. So you could definitely substitute any furniture you want. If you don't have enough plants, just put some butterflies. It'll work out great. And as you can see there, I put mom's candle. This is an item that your mom sends you in the game. 
It's just one of those random items that you can get in the mail. And I feel like a glowing painting goes really well over this garden bench. You know, garden benches aren't usually used inside, but this is a nature build, so we can go crazy. We can put all this outdoor furniture in here if we want. Yeah, the glowing, the glowing painting also has that warm color, which just cements everything in the room. And we have a fortune cookie stand that's next to a plant. <laughs> because why not? You know, <laughs> just that my motto is just if it looks good, why not? If, if it doesn't make total sense, that's fine as long as it looks good. And we're just going to decorate the walls a little more with some more potted ivy and hanging terrariums. And yeah, just throw it in every so often. You don't have to make it too, too cluttered, but try to be generous with your plants. I am, in my opinion, at least. And also, I'm just saying you could decorate your wedding furniture. And this item right here, these, this flower item is probably a must, in my opinion, if you're building this. It looks so good. I love it so much. And the same creator that made the door pattern also made this window pattern. So if you display it as a canvas, it makes kind of a fake window, which also goes nicely with this theme. And now I want to show off the finished build with no commentary. So thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.